episode of Monday Morning Football. I think we're what, episode 31? We are episode 31. My goodness. And this is the draft special. And I've been waiting for this day, man. I've been waiting for this day for a while. Since I started this, this podcast, since I started this show, since I started this, I've been waiting to do this right now, man. Right now, because this is my favorite season of the NFL season. You know, there's, there's like three seasons in the NFL. You know, you have the, the off season, you got the regular season, and you got the, the playoff season. But the off season and the draft season is probably one of my favorite seasons because I get to do what my favorite thing is, look at prospects. And not only that, you know what I love about the draft season is, it's like, I equivalent this is like a relationship. Because the draft is a relationship, what you're actually doing is you're drafting your next relationship partners. That's what it is. So what the draft is, in every relationship, the beginning of the relationship, it's always the best part of the relationship. The beginning is always the best part. That's what the draft is. It's like, you don't know if you're going to marry this person. You don't know any of that. The only thing you know is in the current right now, you like this person. You dating this person. You guys are doing exciting things together, man. You doing exciting things together. That's what the draft process is right now. It's like you're dating. You are dating numerous people. You asking questions. You going on dinner right here. You going on dates right here. You swiping to the left. You swiping to the right. You tendering this up. You bumbling this. You doing all that damn dating service, dog. That's called the draft process. That's called the combine. That's called interviews, man. That's called what. That's what you do when you're interviewing. It's called a date. You asking questions to see if you guys are compatible. Are you compatible with me? Am I compatible with you? Oh, man, do, could I bring you to my family? Could I bring you to my mom? Could I bring you to my dad? Why would my family think of you? That's the getting to know process, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Because now it's like, and then when the draft actually happens, that's when you're like, you know what? Of all the dating process, you're the one I want to start seriously dating. You the one I want to be exclusive with, man. And once you become exclusive, you might be, after a while, if it works out, you might be the person I'm married to. I put the ring on it, man. And we have a long, long future together. Yes, that's what the draft process is. It's like finding a partner for a very long time. And I tell people, just like in relationship, every decision makers, everyone who's going in this relationship have a certain, what do I want to say? They have a certain tendencies. You know what I'm saying? They have a certain things they like in a, in a woman. You know, just like in the draft process. If, if, for example, if a guy like a woman that's 5'9", with, with perfect titties and ass, and then you see a woman that's 4'11", same talent. If you love, if the guy that likes a 5'9 woman, they're not going to look at the 4'11 woman. That's just what it is. So this decision makers, this GMs, this head coaches, they have tendencies, man. They have traits I've looked at. I know what they like, dog, because they showed me, man. I've seen their girlfriends. I've seen their ex-girlfriends. I've seen what they look like. I've seen their current girlfriends. I've seen their wives. I've seen what they like, bro. Just like in life and in the draft process, people are going to draft who they like and who they're most attracted to. That's just what it is. It's about attractiveness. If I ain't attracted to you, I ain't going to draft you, homie. Pause. No homo. But y'all know what I'm trying to say, dog. So with no further ado, the first annual and the only annual things that only matter, the Guru Mark Draft, man. Let me hear your clap. Hey, Guru. I said, go, hey, producer, could we get some clapping sound, man? Could we reveal some clapping sound or something? Because I, I want to hear the, the, the smoke in the background because this is going to be the most direct, the most real the most authentic mock draft that's ever been released in the history of mock draft, baby. So with that said, I know, I know, I'm going to keep saying with that said, that's my word. Let, like what Commissioner, what, what my man Commissioner Roger Goodell would say, 
The G to the U to the R to the U.